ServiceNow product documentation. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the education and learning side, as well as the career side. This is another video in a long series of videos related to the CTA journey that I'm on. I'm going after my technical architect certification, and this is just one stop on that destination. So today I want to talk to you about the ServiceNow product documentation page. And essentially it's a good place to go when you need to know how to do anything within the platform. There are tons and tons of resources that we'll explore together. And we're just going to navigate the page and show you some things to think about and just ways to get familiar with what's on there. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are at the ServiceNow product documentation page, and there is a lot of information here. You can see things that are new in the platform uh, that may be appealing to you. You have new feature content here as well. And what I like about this page is that you can look up resources around different versions of ServiceNow. So the first thing that you want to look for is the release that you're working in. So I know when I first started with ServiceNow, I was so confused by this. I was like, so does this only work in San Diego? Does this only work in Rome? Is it a language thing? <laughs> Thinking about it now, it's silly, but these are the different release upgrades that are out there and that ServiceNow is supporting still. When you're looking at documents, there's a couple of ways you can search stuff. So you can run a search here and I can say glide, and this is what helps uh, make certain things work within applications. If I want to look up something, I can look it up through a search, but you can also look up information. Let's say you're new and you just want to explore a product within ServiceNow. So the way that they have things laid out, these are different products within the platform that you may purchase, or they may come as part of a package. So you have like application portfolio management, customer service management, you have employee service management, Popular ones are ITSM or IT service management. So there's quite a few products. If you want to see a full list, you can click here and it'll take you to a full list of everything that's actively supported. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can also make sure you're in the correct release. So my organization, we recently updated about a month or two ago to Utah. And so we're in the current Utah version. So anything I'm looking to configure in service now, I'm going to do so using references to this version. So I'm gonna make sure I'm hearing this release. And let's just say I was looking at service desk and click on this and it should be relative to the Utah version. There are some exceptions where maybe there hasn't been content generated yet for this release. And so you may see that it re redirects you to an older version of service now, but for the most part, you can see everything you need here. You can rate this content, whether it was helpful or not and give feedback. You can download it to a PDF if you want to share it with someone. You can subscribe to the channel or to the channel. You can subscribe to this channel if you want to, but you can subscribe to the content. So that way if there's any changes, you get notified about it. This might be something that you're an administrator over, particularly for service desk, and you want to make sure that you're up to date. One thing I will tell you with the docs page is that there are links all over the place. And so it's easy to just click on something and in this case, it's just an image, so that's not a big problem. But if you're looking at some of these hyperlinks, service desk call, they'll take you to another place on the platform or on the page you have here, where it'll take you just to a new page or section within ITSM. And if you look on the left here, there are ways you can navigate. So if you wanna do asset management within ITSM, change management, the expense line, that's interesting, continual improvement management, there's just so many different capabilities within the product. So in this case, creating an interaction record in ITSM or IT agent workspace, it's pretty thorough. They do a really good job. And again, if there's anything that's missing or unclear, you can always provide feedback and then you can see when it was last updated. So we see February 2nd, 2023, and that was more or less the time when Utah was released. And then the other thing that I really like, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, but what's new in ServiceNow 
this is a nice place to start to see what are the newest release products or features or patches. Like for me, since we've upgraded, I want to make sure that our patches and everything good were secure prior to going live. That's really good to know. They have a theme builder that might be important for changing the look and feel for your instance. Strategic planning, that's another feature here. Stream connect for Apache Kafka. I'm not sure what that is. And then they have quick start tests for configuration or CMDB. But CMDB is a big portion of, of, of the platform. You can look at products individually. So if I want to look at DevOps, I can see everything that it has to offer. And then I can look specifically to see if there's any, any area I want to focus in on. So if I want to DevOps change velocity, now I have that nice left-hand nav. We have some embedded videos. And again, it's, this is a really fun place to be in, but you can get lost here really easy or get stuck trying to explore every single link and resource. So just tread lightly, be cautious <laughs> and keep in mind the time you'll look up and you'll be into next week looking at all the documentation. So that does it for this video, really just good overview. We'll be exploring specific pieces of documentation as I go through different courses or modules that require me to look at the documentation. And I'll just show you how I'm using it to learn more or enhance my knowledge around a certain piece of content or a certain topic. And uh, yeah, with that said, let me know if this is your first time exploring the products document page. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can access it and uh, navigate it. It's really cool. And uh, let me know how this has helped you. Do you get lost going through here? Are you someone that is frequently going through the docs to share resources with other people? Let me know. And as always, before I go, thank you again for your support. If you watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. It helps me feel confident that I'm sharing valuable information. The other thing I want to mention is that this whole journey, depending on where you're starting, can be really difficult. And I just want to remind you that it doesn't serve you to be hard on yourself. It really doesn't. The idea is that you work hard on yourself, that you take those areas that you're not as strong in and you just work to get that strength, get the time you need with the platform, get the time that you need with the docs page and use this as the tool to help you be more successful in your role. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, Dear me. three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.